many of you probably remember the gigantic Pokemon Go hype from several years ago. I don't know how it was in your country, but in Germany it felt like that for the first time since years, some people left their apartments and went out to catch them all. And I mean, it was a great implementation of augmented reality. It was fantastic. You just had to hold your phone over an area and all of a sudden it seemed like that Pikachu or Bizasam is right in front of you, sitting on the table or on the shoulder of your friend or somewhere in the nature. And now some scientists came over and said, well, instead of looking at Pikachu, it might be much better to look at cockroaches or at spiders in augmented reality. And now you might say, what the hell, what is wrong with you scientists? But there is a serious thought behind that because when it comes to people who are afraid of cockroaches or spiders, for example, we know from many studies that one of the best therapies is exposure therapy, in which people learn that when they expose themselves to the feared stimuli, like for example a spider, and if they might even be able to take the spider on their hand, after a while habituation kicks in, they get used to this stimulus and they realize that all their beliefs, all their catastrophic beliefs about the stimulus were in fact wrong. And in order to figure out whether exposure therapy in augmented reality might be just as good as exposure therapy in real life, the scientists conducted a study with the title In Vivo versus Augmented Reality Exposure in the Treatment of Small Animal Phobia, a Randomized Controlled Trial. So participants with anxiety of small animals, like for example spiders and cockroaches, were randomly assigned to two groups. The first group received an exposure therapy in real life, in which they learned to get closer and closer, for example, to a cockroach. And the therapist, of course, also modeled how to interact with this cockroach and, for example, um, showed how to take this cockroach on his hand and of course he also encouraged the participant to do so as well in order to realize well I can take this cockroach on my hand and nothing um, evil happens. In the augmented reality group the participants were wearing AR glasses so they could see the normal world like for example a real table in front of them but through augmented reality it was possible to show some cockroaches for example. So imagine you are lying your hands on the table and um, you are looking on your hands and all of a sudden there appear some cockroaches on your hands and on the table. And just like in the real life therapy the participants learned to endure this situation, they learned that they can stand this situation and that they can habituate to this situation. What were the results? Well, in both groups there was a quite strong drop in anxiety. But in the real-life therapy, the drop in anxiety was 6% stronger and the effect was even more pronounced when it came to a behavioral avoidance test, in which the subjects had to enter a room with a cockroach in a container and they had to go as close as possible, as far as possible, and in the end they were asked to take the cockroach on a postcard and to keep it there for 20 seconds. And especially in this behavioral avoidance test it became clear that the real life therapy indeed was a little bit more effective because those participants were able to approach the small animals a little bit closer. Nevertheless many scientists are convinced that the therapy in augmented reality, just like the therapy in virtual reality, has a lot of potential, especially when the technology will improve so that the cockroaches in augmented reality might look even more realistic, then the new experience might have a stronger impact on your safety networks in your brain. And of course, for many people with very strong anxiety of, for example, spiders or cockroaches, and who are not willing at all to expose themselves to real spiders or real cockroaches, for them this kind of therapy might be very interesting because it might be a bridge to 
uh, the real life therapy. So you could begin with exposure therapy in augmented reality and later on you can move on to exposure therapy in real life. That's it for today. Thank you very much for watching. And if you want to know more about evidence-based psychotherapy methods for anxiety, feel free to take a look at the website or at the books. And maybe we will see you next time.